Hey guys, Lisa Robinson here. You know, my son's school is hosting a vaccination clinic on Monday. And I was told by the superintendent that this was to help boost the, the number of children that get vaccinated because it seems that a lot of the parents aren't taking the, the children to get vaccinated. So they decided they were gonna bring the, the clinics to the school to, to help them out. Now, I'm not here to give you any kind of medical advice. Um, you know, I am 100% my body, my choice. But I do want to speak to you as a mom, and I want to speak to you as a mom that does an awful lot of research being, um, being an officer of the court, and I hope that you understand. It is important for you to understand that our government has repeatedly not had women or families' best interests at heart. I'll give you an example. For decades, the government said taking away the indigenous children from their families, putting them into residential schools and being willfully blind to their abuse was the right thing to do. Today, they're still finding those little bodies. Or how about when the government said that they knew, it, that they knew best about sterilizing Eskimo women? Or how about the not so long ago thalidomide which was also an experimental drug that was approved by our Canadian government and by other countries all the way around the world. It caused thousands of birth defects and dead babies before it was even withdrawn from the market. And for the longest period of time, our government experts, they said that it was perfectly safe. Does any of this sound familiar to you? Our government has repeatedly abused the trust of vulnerable people, and they have paid out billions and billions of dollars to apologize for their many unthinkable historic violations. How can we as parents blindly presume that today's government experts are not making another terrible mistake that may seriously affect, take, or ruin our children's lives forever? There are so many red flags surrounding all of this. Why would Pfizer go to the courts and ask them that their data not be made available to the public for 75 years? Why? Do you know the average person's lifespan? Or why are they pushing to put an experimental drug in the arms of their children that can cause them to have heart attacks? I mean, it's great that they are adding an extra ingredient to try and prevent this from happening, but is that not a red flag in itself? Along with the fact that no one, not even your family doctor, pharmacist, or even Health Canada themselves can confirm any of the other ingredients going into these shots. I encourage you to do your research. I encourage you I mean, you owe it to yourself, you owe it to your family. I'll give you another red flag. Another red flag would be that, in case you don't know, the government signed um, an agreement with Pfizer, with the other big pharma companies, that no matter what happened, if any kind of harm came to anybody, that they would not be held liable. So our government, is protecting big pharma when they should be protecting the citizens. I mean, personally, I want a government who would rather protect me over protecting the, you know, the big pharma, all those big guys making a lot of money. That's the kind of government I'd like. There are so many red flags, everybody. And you know, you really just need to do your due diligence. You need to do your research. If you need help, if you want somebody to talk to, if you just want to know a little bit more, I'm here. I'm here and I will answer questions. You can give me a call. You can send me a message, send me a text, messenger, private message me, phone me, whatever you like. I am here for you and I will help you. But please, again, you need to you need to do research. You need to find out for yourself. 
Now, for any of those of you that have already signed in your consent forms and sent them into the school saying that it's okay to have your, uh, your child vaccinated and if for any reason now, you know, or over this course of this weekend that you feel that, you know, maybe you'll wait just a little bit longer to, to see because really there is no hurry. They are lifting the mandates on, the, on March the 1st, as we all know. So why is there a hurry? So if you want to withdraw your consent, I believe that they are asking that you do that by email um, before eight o'clock the morning of. But personally, I, I wouldn't take that chance. If I was just going to withdraw consent for my child, I would just pull them out of school for the day is, uh, is what I would do and um, just hold on to them so tight and um, let them know how much you love them and that it's going to be okay. Take care, everybody. I'll talk to you again soon. God bless.